I have a 95% lifetime average with the American Conservative Union, 100% lifetime with the National Federation of Independent Businesses, 100 or A plus with NRA. This does not, those are not the rating scores of somebody who shirks from pressure. If I was a member of the U.S. Senate today, I would be the 10th most conservative member. And I've done this from a district that is not a cream puff Republican district. In the first district of Georgia, you get elected in the general election. It's not decided in the primary. I'm down in a part of the world where there are real live Democrats. My home county went for Obama 55%. And I carried it 53%. I'm very proud that I have great relationships with African Americans because my district is 28%. If we're going to stay in the majority party, you've got to have somebody who can deal with folks who might not be your skin color, and I'm getting very worried that our party is becoming smaller and smaller. What was our problem with McCain? Didn't identify with the average person. What was our problem with Romney? Didn't identify with the average person. We have to have people who come through the real world in our party. And I've done this without compromising my principles. I've done this by being a conservative. I've worked with Dick Durbin to cut agriculture spending $3.6 billion. And you know what he said to me after the end of a three-month negotiation? He said, you know, Jack, this is the most member-to-member -member contact I have had in five years. I wore him out. He surrendered. <laughs> President Obama signed the bill. It wasn't proposing something. It wasn't voting no all the time. It was delivered to the president's desk, and he signed it. I've come from that kind of background where you and I, sometimes some of you remember, we were in the minority when my mama started the Clark County Women's Party. She was the first president. We used to put up yard signs for Republican candidates in my yard that people would tear them down. Grown-ups, not kids, not vandals, but grown-ups. As a member of the state legislature, working under Tom Murphy, laughed at, humiliated. But still, again, watching people like Jim Tysinger and Paul Coverdale, Dorothy Felton, hanging in there, being tough, fighting for what's right. That's what we need in the U.S. Senate. Somebody who has been tempered in the real world where it's been very, very tough to be a Republican and yet not run from being a conservative. I am proud to say that if I am with some of the very tough Democrats in Chatham County and they ask me a question, I give them the same answer that I do a Republican club. And I have had many Democrats over the years saying, you know what, I don't agree with you on anything, but you know what I like about you? You'll return my phone calls and you give me a straight answer. And if you and I are going to remain the majority party in the state of Georgia, that's the kind of leadership we have to have for the next century. Thank you.